Good morning. This is Trisha with Kelly's Closet and I am here really quick to do a wool and cloth diapers chat. So wool is a diapering um, material that has been used for a super long time. It can be a little intimidating for a lot of people to think about wool. We think about wool as being kind of a scratchy, um, uncomfortable material and um, wool and cloth diapering in cloth diapering is completely different than what we might be familiar with with wool sweaters and um, wool blankets from years gone by. So we're going to show you a few of our wool products that we carry for cloth diapering and how to take care of them. Hi Callie. Yes, Callie's watching virtually and she can help answer any questions because I don't want this to go too long. Um, so basically this is a wool diaper cover. So we call this a wool soaker. It just looks like pull on underwear. Um, wool soakers are usually a little bit thicker in the middle here um, or like this one is from Sloom and it's pretty thick all the way through um, and this is designed to go over in a cloth diaper absorbency so a fitted diaper pre-folds pin flats um, something that's absorbent this would go on over it a lot of people getting started with wool use wool initially at nighttime um, because wool really helps make your absorbency for overnights even more bulletproof wool is naturally um, pretty absorbent as well as um, resistant this bacteria growth, it's breathable, um, so it tends to help with kids who are prone to rashes or stinky nighttime diapers. This can be a really helpful solution over a waterproof um, or plasticky material diaper cover. So this is a Sloom wool soaker. And um, a lot of people ask, if I'm getting started, how do I take care of my wool? And um, it's actually pretty simple. So there's a lot of um, online videos that will show you step-by-step -step the process. I'm just gonna walk you through it here today. So basically, wool on its own, people can use um, wool pants, um, play woolies, um, different wool pant products as clothing. Some people choose to use it that way and on its own it will catch tiny little leaks um, and can be used just as a clothing item. If you want to use this for diapering, you want to do what's called lanolizing it to help it become a little bit more waterproof um, and retain um, moisture so that the, the moisture doesn't leak straight through onto the clothing or bedding. Um, so lanolin is a product that um, you would use to lanolize your diaper covers. So this is the Sloom lanolin that we carry. Um, it comes in little tiny jars. Um, I think there are two, four, and eight ounce jars um, up to the large ones. If you order your first wool cover with a Sloom um, Wool Always Love You kit, you'll get everything that you need to get started um, with using wool for the first time. And you'll get small size containers of all of these products that I'm gonna show you. So to analyze your diaper, the first thing you want to do, um, new wool, it comes pretty clean, but if you want to just, um, for good measure, wash it like you would any new item when you get it, you would just put this in warm water in the sink, and you would use a product like the um, Sloom's Soak product or a wool wash bar, which is just a very gentle, clean rinsing um, washing product to wash your wool with. Um, soak can also be used to wash any um, like lingerie or baby items or things you want to hand wash that you don't want to have to worry about rinsing a whole bunch of times because you don't even have to rinse this. You can if you want to, but it is a plant-based product that's so clean rinsing that you can leave it on the product without having to keep wringing out and rinsing um, all the suds. So you can wash this first with warm water. Then you wanna drain your sink and in a separate bowl, you wanna get hot water, like almost too hot to drink tea water, um, hot water. And you wanna do a teaspoon for one diapering product of the lanolin. And you wanna use one emulsifying cube or other emulsifying like um, wool wash type product to um, break your lanolin down so it will, it's kind of like waxy and you wanna use the emulsifier to help it um, dissolve in the water basically. So you're gonna do one cube of this, one teaspoon of this, and you're gonna stir it in hot water until the water looks milky. And then it's ready to, for use. And you'll dump that into another basin, bowl, or sink um, of warm water in your hot water and stir it all together until it's all um, nicely mixed together. You don't want any chunks or floating lanolin. Um, if, if you have chunks of lanolin, you probably need a hotter water and a little bit more emulsifier and keep stirring until it looks like milky water. 
Um, then you want your water to cool down. Um, we often say tepid water, so not ice cold water, but also not warm water. Um, wool prefers to kind of stay at the same temperature, so you don't want to put it in super hot water and you don't want to put it in super cold water either. Um, so once you have that milky water mixed in with your warm water and it's pretty kind of room temperature, um, slightly warm water, you can put your wool cleaned diaper cover inside out into the lanolin water and you let it soak for at least 15 minutes. A brand new cover, especially if you plan to use it overnight, you can soak for longer than 15 minutes so that you're sure that it's getting well lanolized and you can kind of stir it around and agitate it in the water to be sure that that's happening. And then um, basically after you've let it soak for at least 15 minutes, um, if not longer, you're going to drain your water and then you're going to squeeze the excess water out of this. And so the important thing with wool, you don't wanna like wring it out, pull it and twist it too hard. You just want to squeeze it. Um, until the excess water comes out. Sometimes it's helpful if you put it on a towel and then kind of roll the towel so you're rolling this in to absorb any of the extra moisture. And then you're gonna lay it flat to dry. So you want it to be in a well-ventilated room so it will dry, to, won't take too long to dry, but it can take some time. So you wanna lay this on a towel and then go back in in a little while, flip it over, um, make sure that the towel it's on is dry, turn it inside out and make sure that it dries thoroughly and then it's ready to use. And so then you can put it on your baby over their absorbency, so flat, pre-fold, or fitted diaper, um, and it will offer you some extra protection against leaks. And it's a nice natural option for people who are avoiding all synthetic materials, um, as well as a great option for people who are looking for extra protection overnight. Um, if you have any further questions for us on how to use the products that you care that we carry, you can um, drop us a comment below and we will try to help you out. And I'm just going to show you one more time um, the types of things that we carry to help you take care of your wool. Um, and then we will let you go. The differences between the covers. So we have the soaker covers like this are a thicker material. There's more than one layer um, in here. I think there's two knit layers of the soaker. Um, this is a traditional, just like when you see it on the site, it'll say um, wool soaker. And so this is going to be your thickest, more traditional diaper cover. There's the under woolies, which is a single layered um, knit product. And that's um, good for people who are using it over um, like a diaper cover, a trainer, a um, over underwear or underneath dresses, things like that when you don't need as much absorbency or protection. Um, the If you're looking for like nighttime, a nighttime product, this is more ideal than like the under woolies, which is the single layer knit. Um, and then we have the um, play woolies, longies, shorties, those are basically just to describe that instead of it being a soaker like this that looks like underwear, it looks like shorts or it looks like pants. The play woolies are actually machine washable, which is a kind of a nice feature for wool, it's rare. Um, and so those are the different styles of wool products that you'll see on the site. Um, how often do you need to lanolize? So it's really going to depend upon how often you use your wool. People who are using wool as like their everyday um, product and using longies as pants, you're gonna need you're gonna need to wash them um, similarly to how often you would wash their clothes um, just to get off any dirt and stains. Um, if you're using them as your diaper cover. If you're just using them at nighttime, you can often go several days um, before it starts to get stinky. And that's kind of the test. If it gets any solids on it, it visibly looks dirty or it starts to have any odor to it, it's time to wash. Otherwise, every few days um, to, to do your lanolin process um, and your wash to make sure that it stays clean. Um, and how often do I wash? So, so basically it's gonna vary on how often you use it. So if you are an everyday wool user, you're going to wash every couple of days. Whereas if you're only using a single wool product and you're using it only at nighttime, some people wash once a week or so. Um, so it'll, it'll vary based upon the amount of use that it's getting. So I'm gonna show you once again some of the products here. So um, we have little information cards that often will go out in your orders so that you have some instructions. If you order this, we'll, um, we'll always love you kit. It comes with all of this inside. This is a fabric shaver, which basically means that over time, especially when this is not under clothes, but it's being used as clothes, um, 
and used frequently, your wool will pill up a little bit and this shaver will actually allow you to shave the little pills off so that it will look nicer and newer again um, and prevent snags. This is the soak product that can be used for washing your wool products as well as washing any other hand wash delicate kits that you have in your home. Um, the Wool Always Love You kit comes with this size bottle and we also sell a full sized um, soak product if you really enjoy using that for your wool as well as your other laundry. The Wool Always Love You comes with the medium sized lanolin. This is just um, the thick, gooey, um, waxy product that helps lanolize your covers and a thing of emulsif emulsifying cubes, which helps your lanolin dissolve well in the water so that you can use it on your covers. Um, we also carry these little um, wood blocks as well as the wool wash bar if you want to use that instead of the liquid wash products. Lanolin spray, which helps give you a little extra lanolin protection between washes. So at nighttime, if before you use it, you want to give it an additional spritz um, for more protection. Full size lanolin product. Um, and then this is the soakers. And when we restock this weekend, I think it's Friday that we restock, we'll be getting um, soakers and um, as well as some of the play woolies and products like that. So let us know if you have any further questions and we would love to help you out. And Callie will be sharing um, the new products that are coming in a little bit more as we get closer to stocking day. Have a great day.